everybody, it's Dr. Joe, and today I'm going to show you some stretches and exercises for a lateral ankle sprain. Let's get started. Disclaimer alert! Disclaimer alert! The first thing you're going to do is stretch out your calf muscles. So you can take a strap, you can use a dog leash, you can use a belt, or you can use a large towel, whatever you have handy. But what you want to do is make sure and wrap it around the ball of your foot. You don't want it on your toes and you don't want it down in the arch of your foot because you don't want it coming back and smacking you, but you want it to be able to get a nice stretch. So just wrap it around the ball of the foot there, relax your foot, don't try and actively move it, and just pull with the strap towards you until you feel a nice stretch in the back calf area right there. And hold that stretch for about 30 seconds, relax, and do that three times. So just getting that nice stretch in there. After you stretch it out a little bit, then grab a resistive band, and if you want to, grab a foam roller so you can prop your foot up. If you don't have a roller, that's fine. You can wrap up a big towel, but you want to have it so your heel is hanging off so you can have some good movement in your ankle. Again, make sure that you put the band around the ball of your foot because you don't want it coming back and smacking you in the face, but you want to be able to get some good movement in there. So just wrapping around there and then slowly, see how it rolls off a little bit? Happens to everybody. Slowly push down and then slowly come back up. So really trying to control this movement. And if you feel like your ankle is doing like this, which it might if you have that sprain, then take off some of the resistance because you want to be able to control that foot coming down and then coming back up and try and get that full motion if you can. Now if this is painful, then don't use the band and just do the motion because your ankle might not quite be ready for the resistive bands yet. So just start off with about 10 of those. If those are easy, then you can work your way up from there. So now put a little knot in the band so you have a loop. Make sure it's tight so it doesn't pop out on you. This time you're going to use your other foot kind of as an anchor. Put it underneath and prop your other one up and over. Now you're going to do an inversion movement coming this way. So you want the knot to be on the opposite side. So I'm going to put it here and I'm going to wrap that band around the other foot as an anchor and then pull in towards me. Now try and keep your whole leg still. You don't want to be doing this but you really want that movement at the ankle. Now you can also have somebody hold on to the band, but if you're by yourself for a little bit and you want to do those exercises, that's how you do it. You anchor it around that way. Now to get the E version, you change the placement of the knot to the inside because now you're going to do the E version that way and then anchor it around the other foot like that and then come out and back in. Again, try and keep the top part of the leg fairly straight. It's not this, but moving, getting that movement at the ankle. All right, the next exercise are gonna be standing up. Now I'm gonna do a standing calf stretch. So bring the foot back that you wanna stretch, keep your foot facing forward, and keep your heel down. Make sure you have something nice and sturdy to hold on to, like a chair or a countertop. Keep that heel down and bend this knee forward until you feel a stretch in the back of the leg right there. So come forward, hold that stretch for about 30 seconds, come back and do three of those. Make sure that heel's down. If you come up, you're not going to get that stretch. So make sure it's down and get a nice big stretch there. Then you're going to come up, put your feet about shoulder width apart, and you're going to do a heel raise. So just bring your heels up off the ground and slowly coming back down. Make sure you've got something sturdy to hold on to for balance just in case you need it. But again, make sure you're coming down nice and slow, working those muscles in both directions, coming up and coming back down. Don't just plop back down. Start off with about 10 of those and work your way up to 20 to 25. If those become easy, then you can go to just one foot coming up and slowly coming back down. And then the last one is just a single leg balance. So bringing the other foot up, again, have something nice and sturdy to hold on to if you need it. Start off with both hands, go about 20, 30 seconds. If that becomes easy, maybe just do one or two fingers, work your way up 
and then eventually do the balance without holding on. So there you have it. Those are your stretches and exercises for a lateral ankle sprain. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. If you'd like to check out some other videos, go to AskDrJoe.com. Don't forget to like us and remember, be safe, have fun, and I hope you feel better soon.